welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first organizational video ever. So if you guys saw my house tour, you know that I am so unorganized behind the scenes and I don't want to be. It's getting to the point where I'm getting so upset and so frustrated with myself because I'm trying to get things in closets and in cabinets and things are falling all over the place and I'm getting so incredibly frustrated. And I was like, nope, <clears throat> it's time. I need to start getting organized. But the thing is, I need to organize on a budget because I'm not about to spend $30 per bin for a closet that no one sees. I like the way that things look though, so I wanted to get things that are aesthetically pleasing, but on a budget. So we shopped at the dollar store. This video is going to be all dollar store organizational um, things. And we are starting with my linen closet behind me. I'm sure you already saw the thumbnail of the before picture. It's a disaster, you guys. I tried to be organized at some point and do a little Dollar Tree organizing. It didn't stay that way. And then only really one shelf is like, okay, presentable. We are filming in my bathroom, so I'm sorry if there's some weird echo going on and bad lighting, but it is what it is. My bathroom is a very small space and this closet is not that big. So if you guys like Dollar Tree organized with me, give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up for getting organized because <sighs> it's time. So I am going to basically do this video with a voiceover, show you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree for uh, organizational things, and then we will get to tackling this linen closet behind me. So my linen closet has so many different things. We have bath products, shampoos, um, toiletry, uh, paper items, uh, towels, obviously. So yeah. Oh, thank you so much. It's so delicious. All right, guys, let's jump into this video. So you saw Sydney and I went to the Dollar Tree this morning and picked out some organizational things for just projects that I'm going to be using around the house. And the first thing that I picked up were these bins. I love that they were neutral and fabric and they had a few different sizes. And then I got an over the door hook, which these are so handy to have on hand. And then I also picked up these white bins. How cute are these for a dollar? I got three of them and they have holes in them and they have a bunch of different colors as well. So this is the before of my linen closet. I'm calling it a linen closet because I don't really know what else to call it. It's a catch-all for all things toiletry and bathroom basically, but I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I'm not going to lie. It's just an absolute collect all and I'm so, so excited to get started on this organizational project. So the first thing that I did was just clear out the shelves of all of the cluttered junk and throw it on the floor. Literally, I took everything out of each shelf and just threw it on the floor and I threw away the things that I didn't need anymore. Like I had old vitamins in there for some reason and loose razor things that never belonged to me and then old <laughs> bibs that Sydney used to wear as a little tiny baby that were just shoved in there. So I was going to take all of the ones that were stained and throw those away and then whatever was salvageable, donate the rest. And then of course I just wiped out each shelf to make sure it was nice and clean. Here we go. I keep Sydney's pull-ups downstairs in this closet, so I just took them out of the bag and thought it would be a little bit more organized, and that way I could see exactly how many pull-ups I have, because I'm always caught off guard with leaving them in the plastic, and I never remember to buy some. Next, I'm organizing the abundance that is our bath products. We have a bunch of bath bombs, body butters, scrubs, and then all of Sydney's bath products as well will go right in this bin. That way I have one location to search for and nothing's toppled all over. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the grand.
is what it looks like while I'm filming, <laughs> just so you guys are aware. Oh, help me. This was the shelf that was semi-organized. Everything still was just way too overstuffed and it kept falling every time I would grab something and toppling over. So I just wanted to start that shelf all over again. I didn't have a plan when I was organizing on like what I wanted on which shelf. I just kind of went in the moment. <laughs> so ignore what I'm doing here. I eventually change it out. And how perfect are these bins for all of my cleaning supplies? I have so much Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner and all kinds of other hand soaps and whatnot. So I thought that those would go perfectly in these bins and I just place them at the top shelf. Are you organizing like mommy? No, I just picked all those up in the basket so then she will not turn so it's in the basket. Good so job. I think I'm going to move the linens down so that when I put little things up here, Cindy won't be able to grab them. But I'm liking how it's turning out so far. For some reason, I kept all of the loose like screws and things that I needed to put together furniture, like Sydney's furniture, in this cat closet instead of the garage where it belongs. So that's what all of this mess is. I wasn't a fan of the way that the towels were looking, so I just took another bin and decided to put all of Sydney's washcloths and hooded towels in this bin so it looked a little bit more put together. I have all kinds of different colors of mismatched <laughs> towels and washcloths, and don't worry, I do have more towels than this. I just have another closet upstairs as well. So these bins I actually picked up at a previous trip to the Dollar Tree, but they still had them today when I went. So yes, you can get these at the Dollar Tree as well. And I love that they have white because white just goes with everything. And so I'm using this big tub for all of the tall shampoos and soaps and bubble baths. And then I'm putting my deodorants and sun tanning lotions and hair products in the other small bins. <laughs> Start, I am nothing more 
So I decided to utilize the over the door hook for Sydney and I's bathing suits. For the summer, I keep them downstairs readily available in this closet and I figured when they're clean, I can hang them on the door and have them readily available. And then also I hung Sydney's clean bibs For some reason, I've always kept her bibs in this closet, and I just thought the -the over-the-door hook was perfect so that they are up and out of the way because otherwise, they're just a mess. So that is gonna do it for my organizational video my first one I'm just getting started you guys. I'm so pumped. So the first one was Dollar Tree I will do like my refrigerator and my pantry next. I have like a tiny pantry Leave me suggestions in the comments down below. What is your go-to for watching organizational videos? Is it budget? Is it aesthetic? Is it your pantry, um, just what closets, like what do you want me to do the most? I plan on doing a whole series on this channel because I have so much to organize in my house. So I hope you guys enjoy it again and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. You might be two and a half today, but you're still my little baby.